Okay, we're talking more about Queen Esther. Esther obtained favor in the sight of all who saw her. This was because of her godliness and beauty. Beauty often gains people, especially women, favor with others. Have you noticed that? It earns women, especially, privileges that they might not have if they weren't beautiful. It might even have something to do with getting hired. Maybe someone else is um, more qualified for the job, but because one is pretty and the other one isn't, that's the one that gets it. It happens all the time. Because that's the way of our culture, we need to be really, really careful about what we say to our little children as they're growing up, especially the little girls. And they have those Barbie dolls, and what do they hear all the time? Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Not that we shouldn't say that. It's okay. They especially need to hear it from their dad or their grandpa or their, you know, uncle or another man, someone, someone they love and respect. But, um, but also we need to emphasize the other qualities and the qualities that caused King Ahasuerus to fall in love with Esther. He truly did become a very kind man toward her because he loved her. And it was not because of her beauty. It was something much deeper than that. And so with our little girls and our boys, you know, we can say the same thing to them. They're so handsome. Do they have anything to do with how handsome or how cute or how pretty they are? That's all God. But they can do something about how nice they are or how smart they are. Do you remember Abilene from the movie The Help? You is kind, you is smart, you is important. And her little, her, this little girl's mama was so awful to her, so abusive, verbally and physically. And boy, that can have such an impact. There might be some of you sitting out here today who are still kind of reeling from that. Um, maybe you had parents that were less than kind to you, and maybe they put you down and told you you were stupid, or, you know, what's wrong with you, or uh, maybe they were just physically abusive to you. And when you grow up with that, Boy, it can really do a number on a person. But Abilene, she was counteracting that, wasn't she? I have a little clip here I want to show you. And I think that little girl will always remember Abilene, don't you? So just to review from uh, what we did last week, Esther was the child of Jewish exiles who both died. She was raised by her cousin Mordecai. Uh, in a, a foreign and hostile land, Mordecai chose to stay there and not uh, go back to Jerusalem when they were the Jewish people were allowed to. For whatever reason, we decided last week it was because um, God wanted him to. <laughs> God just led. It was it was part of His plan for him not to go back and to raise Esther in that land. Uh, she was taken by compulsion into the king's harem. We went into great detail of that last week. And she found favor with everyone she met. And then she was selected to be the queen of the realm. And so this remarkable course of events was not an accident. Right, Mary? Where are you? No such thing. We talked about that last week. No such thing as an accident in the life of a child of God. It wasn't just because of luck or fame that she rose to this position. It wasn't because of her good looks or her sparkling personality at all. God had a plan. That's why. And she was a part of it. Esther 2.15. Do you find favor with people like Esther did? And we'll talk more about that later. Does your behavior please God? You know, I had to ask myself these questions. Does my, my behavior please God? I want it to. I don't always do life right. What qualities Esther must have had? 
and oh, for those qualities. And they can only come to us through the power of the Holy Spirit. We can't walk walk above ourselves. But as we read his word, spend time in this book, getting to know him, the closer we draw to him, the more he can pour himself into us and out of us and as a channel to other people. So I hope everyone here spends time, a little bit of time every day. We talked about that last in the last session. Have a special place where you can go and sit with him and just meet with him and talk to him and let him talk to you through the, the pages of this book. It is life changing. You want the, the, the characteristics that Esther had? I do. I want to be courageous. I want to stand tall. I don't want to cave and become um, bitter and angry and full of self-pity. I don't want to be that way. So this is what I read. And when I read about Esther coming through it, unscathed, all that she came through, she lost her parents at an early age. She was hauled away from all she was familiar with. And then, basically, raped by the king. It said she went in at night and she came out in the morning. If anyone has reason to be bitter and angry, it's Esther. But she stood tall in spite of it all. She wore a crown. And we are children of the living God. We are children. We are daughters of the King of Kings. Let's wear our crown in spite of it. And she was sweet on the inside. You've seen that pineapple saying, stand tall, wear a crown, be sweet on the inside. And it, like a pineapple. I want to be a pineapple. So, um, we can only do all those things through, through the Lord Jesus Christ living his life in and through us. You are good, good.